had a couple of studio visits over the course of a year and I wanted him to have a show here. I, I'd seen his work when he was a grad student at Tyler, um, I think back in 09. And um, I, I was really drawn to his sense of color. It, he can, depending on the, the, the body work that he's working on, it can be very bold and, and crisp distinctions in color from one to the next. And I just kind of liked his palette and I liked the way he kind of ab abstracted landscapes. The, the work stays up for two months. We have church services with it, you know, um, and the entire congregation kind of gets to experience it w within a, a, a worship context. There's this sort of like narrative structure that I'm very drawn to, right? But I also think that within that, there's all these other elements, like subtopics, um, that really follow that, like music, movies, literature. Uh, in natural storytelling. I heard of my parents like so telling stories and so um, a lot of the times like those stories really came from how would you say really developed like images in my head and stuff like that or or just like these, these sort of whimsical images and then I, I think I, I play with this idea of like uh, sort of like false narratives you know and, and try to make some sort of imagery based on that. I think that he gives you um, uh, a sense of place, even though it's, even it's not a specific one. Um, and so there's the opportunity to kind of like uh, immerse yourself into the work and be taken away from where you are at that particular time. And sometimes you need that spiritually to sort of be delivered from a particular rough time of life anyway. Mm -hmm.